What is up guys, Matt here coming at you from another beautiful day here in Kentucky. <laughs> All right, so now you see why I do so much indoors with the 24s. Um, this rain, this time of year, it rains a lot. Then it'll just get like way too hot in the summer and then it'll rain again and then it's way cold. I don't, it is what it is. We always say, if you don't like the weather in Kentucky, just stick around a few hours, it'll change. So maybe tomorrow will be better and I can get outdoors and do some stuff. Of course, tomorrow is when my kids have everything going on. So uh, eventually, but I wanted to take a quick look at this new mod from Fair RC. This thing in hand is freaking awesome. I love this color right here. Um, I mean, I would be really happy with just a body solid with this color. Uh, it looks really good. Hopefully, you know, it will hold up well getting beat on. But um, one thing is, these are just like water slide decals. So you can take those off and basically have the plain body. This back here is painted. So the rear is painted, but uh, it looks so good in person love this color now this is the v2 smasher that they are doing these mods to so the good news is you're gonna have the option to adjust your throttle um, and your drag brake and stuff so i just did a video on that you can definitely check that out but i'm gonna just touch on it a little bit here real quick so everybody can see so uh, a couple things with the v2 is the servo saver here should really help hopefully that servo horn not strip out as quick uh like i mentioned in my other video on the v2 these string links are a little stronger than the initial ones we were getting with the fcx and this one look has the new battery strap so maybe that is something that's going to be coming on these my other v2 didn't it had the old school tiny band that um, kind of aggravates you but this one does have the nice thick band so Hopefully that's what's gonna be coming on all of these. Um, but other than that, really the same truck that we've gotten used to and love, and we're gonna power it on and just talk about how to change these modes a little bit so everybody knows what is up. All right, so we got it powered on. And like I mentioned in my other video, to turn the lights on, you're just gonna hit the bind button now. So that's on and then off. You just hit it, takes it a second, comes on, hit it, takes it a second, goes off. Then your high and low is still here. This one has the neutral. So we've got low, which is great if you decide to make this into a crawler. Somebody had asked on the V2 if these still had the open diffs. And yes, they are open diff, which is way better for these monster trucks. They turn better, they uh, drive better when you're landing on one wheel. You know, this wheel will stop spinning instead of stripping gears and stuff. Um, so that is nice. And then we can kick it into high and we have our high speed. You can see out of the box, mine is set up with no brake. So we're able to get our nose wheelies like everybody wanted to change that. All you're gonna do is double tap the reverse switch on here. That puts you in basically a menu mode. And then if you want brake, you're gonna hit the bind button. And then now we have a brake, then reverse. Forward, brake, then reverse. Forward, brake, and then reverse. All right, so, um, you know, that's easier on gears and stuff, uh, but it's harder to do the nose willies. You can still do it but uh, it's just a little harder. Uh, to change that back, just hit your bind button again. And then to change your drag brake, um, it, it's all in the book. The ST minus is basically 0%. I do believe the ST plus puts you at 50 or yeah, I think 50. ST minus puts you at 75. And then if you hit the, or I'm sorry, the, Throttle minus 75. If you hit the throttle plus, you're at 100%. You can see when I let off of that, it stops 
pretty much instantly. So if you want zero drag brake, you hit the steering minus while you're in this menu with this flashing. That's the way you're gonna drive this most of the time. Uh, it's just if you're gonna go changing it into a crawler or something, you may want to change that. But we now have all of the options in this, which is really nice. To exit this menu mode, double tap your reverse button and you're back into normal and all of these just adjust your steering and throttle now like usual so um, v2 very good looking body uh, i love these mods that fair rc does every new one that comes out i'm just like oh i gotta get a hold of it um i'm really excited about the the van i don't know if you guys seen the van with the uh the mystery looking paint scheme on it um I'm hopefully going to be getting to see a real mystery machine um, here in about within the next month. And so I've definitely got to order one of those so I can have it with me. So that'll be cool. Um, just haven't did that yet, been meaning to, but um, really cool. They've got so many cool mods. Definitely check them out. Uh, I have tons of them around here and just every one that comes out, I'm like, I got to have it. I got to have it. I got to have it. Uh, so this one, obviously, just another one. I hope they continue doing more of these, and uh, I'll keep showing them off to you guys. So let me know what you think about this one. This does also come with everything you normally get. Of course, the battery, charger, the O-rings for the shocks to turn these into oil shocks, and they are actually really good oil-filled shocks. Um, and then you get the spools if you want to turn this into a crawler. A nice tool for the monster truck wheels um, because they're so deep so you get that nice tool as well as your regular uh, wheel wrench so uh, everything that you normally get the new v2 manual and then you get some extra stickers so if you lose the decals or you scratch them up or rip them or whatever you can replace them so that's really cool that they include that as well just kind of a quick show off video here but uh it is really cool so you guys let me know what you think i appreciate everybody so much Peace.